the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shit. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Jack's in the prep room. Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. Here it is. sure if I'm ready for this. Hey, Jack. Your special clip? No. Where's your tie? Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. There. 
I guess you're ready. But am I? people read the signs that's closed You felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late! Are you... are you crying, my child? I... It's fine, Jack. Now, now you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memories a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Eh? Where is that? Thing? Listen, Jack. Probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Joe, where is that shh, 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 shh. Huh? It's okay. I, My sweet little Marianne, what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. It's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's gonna be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff, then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. I need oh yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that.
Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But... No. I was the only one. Oh. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number at... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke, I... You'd need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me.
The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. Anyone home? I guess not. What the? Hello? Thomas? You want to keep me out, Neva? We're gonna have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just... stopped. And so, an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. What's this?
might be my way in. Something happened here. The split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Dead. Like everything else in this place. Yeah, not getting through here. Not with the power out. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world. In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. So there I was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either.
you, Neva? The aura in that place. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes, it's only a matter of time. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Obviously, there's got to be another way. Ah, I think there's a broken window up there. If only I could reach it. Handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber.
I sent something. What's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. Hope you don't mind if I, uh, pop your trunk. Not much here. Although, this could come in handy. Ow! Shit! What the hell? No one here. began the great dumpster heist of 1999. <laughs> to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it.
it's true. The Neva massacre. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the. <laughs> Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there? Hello? Thomas? Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. My friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. That's okay. So, do you live here? 
all by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So... Tell me, what happened? Uh, I remember. People stopped coming. Only a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Mary Ann? <laughs> Would you play with me just for a little while? It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything, Marianne! I'm looking for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? I can't go that way! Damn. I need to get up there somehow. Hey. An elevator. Might as well see if it works. I wished I knew her real name. Mark it up. Gotta move fast. An out of body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Now get your ghostly ass back and power up that elevator.
Sadness? Okay. Not getting through here. I know, I just... Yes. I understand. Just give me some time. A few days. You'll get what you want. Ugh. That voice. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. Well, 
looks like the only way. Great. What was that? This room. It feels cold. Memories of grief. Loneliness. The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. Ah, sunflower weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. Ah, sunflower weary of t Oh, Mr. Tark. Spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Oh shit! This is falling apart. Looks like I'm in for another dive. Is that skin? Useless old hag! Why would he care any more than the others? <laughs> it's more than grief. More than despair. This letter crushed her spirit. 